Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspies CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Panini Donruss Baseball. Four box, random team break number three. Um, it's a 10 spot break, so one spot gets you three teams. No vet commons ship, and those Bud Selig, San Diego Chicken, Domingo cards are randomized as one lot at the end of the break. I think this is a uh, manager. San Diego Chicken, Chicken is not a property of the San Diego Padres, believe it or not, and then Bud Selig, former commissioner. All right, big thanks to everyone here. So let's triple your names up. One, two, and there's three. All 30 teams are in, no combos. And let's roll it and randomize this. Two and a six, eight times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Alec down to Nick Stober. Yeah, maybe I'll find... The whammy cards here. Two and a six, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Milwaukee down to Detroit. That's what I heard, Brandon. Maybe we'll, we'll, maybe we'll pull some shields for ourselves here. I don't want to search those teams. I want to copy those teams. All right, Alec with the Brewers, Stephen K with the Braves, Alec with the Reds, Jarrell with the Rays, Stephen with the Astros, Alec with the Rangers, Nick with the Mets, Alec, you got my Dodgers, and the Rivals, Giants. Oliver Smith with the O's, Nick with the Padres, Jarrell with the Twins, Nick with the Cardinals, Phillies, uh, Red Sox. Alec with the Tribe, Stephen with the Pirates, Nick with the Mariners and the Diamondbacks, Alec with the White Sox, Oliver Smith with the Rocks, Alec with the A's and Nats, Oliver with the Yankees, Barry, Blue Jays, Royals and Marlins, all three of your spots are clustered down here. Uh, Nick with the Halos, Jarrell with the Cubs, and Nick Stober with the Detroit Tigers. A lot of fun stuff in this break. A lot of parallels to chase here, which are really fun. We're going to pause the video, allow for a little bit of trading time, and when we come back, we'll uh, see if there's any trades and then we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back. No deals were done on this Saturday. Thanks, everyone, for making this happen. Appreciate it. Set that right over here. Remember, I marked those so we all know it's from the same case. The last four boxes from the case that we popped open are, uh, are in the store right now, if you want to run that back. And then I think we have more cases to bust open, baseball fans. This is a fun product to get just because there's so many... Just a lot of uh, a lot of eye candy, a lot of variety in here. So if you like a whole mix of things, just to just to break and goof around with, it's pretty good. A lot of parallel opportunities, a lot of low number parallel opportunities. Good uh, good grading, gradable cards could be possible here. Crazy baseball news happening? Or are we just marching towards? We're just marching towards the uh, regular season here, which you know, I'm fine with that. There's no major news, no major injuries or anything like that, right? Did Tatis Jr. score on a sack fly to second? Wow. Jackie Bradley Jr. picking up a hit in the Brewers' debut. Corey Kluber's in awe of the Yankees' lineup. Bryce Harper, Didi feasting on Tigers pitching. These packs 
effects are kind of terrible here. All right. Padres apparently full of options at closer. MLB saying these unsigned free agents deserve landing spots. There's still some unsigned guys here. Matt Adams. We think like a AL team would. AL team might want to grab a Matt Adams. Yoenis Cespedes is still out there? Hmm. Is Yoan Cespedes done? I mean, surely you can put it that he could be a DH too. DH can save all these guys. Edwin Ercarnacion, Matt Kemp. All right, let's go here. Let's keep that in mind. All right, there's Wilmer Flores leading things off. So. It's gonna be. It's gonna actually gonna be these cards that are considered commons. These are inserts. That's a common, right? And these are obviously gonna ship. Rated rookies are obviously gonna ship. You know, that's an insert too, right there. There's Keith Hernandez. These numbered cards, of course, will ship. And just in the interest of time, what I'm gonna do is create a pile over here of cards that need to be sleeved and top loaded. I'll make it easier to fly through this break a little bit. Get some other stuff. Brad Keller to 100 for the Royals. That'll be Barry Roberts. The Mount Castle's supposed to be pretty good. Oliver Smith with the O's. There's Mariano Rivera to 2021. Joey Bart's going to go to Alec, by the way. That was a good one, too. Casey Mize. Could be a big season for him. Breakout season for him. Jack Flaherty. Former number one overall pick, him and Torkelson could lead the Tigers for for another decade. There's Mariano Rivera. And there's Kershaw to 9.99, and a 14-time All-Star right here, A-Rod. Oh, Josh is saying that that Mount Castle Liberty Parallel is only one per box. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's who it is in the background. I was like, what is that? Yeah, all of, all of those, that, that pile will be part of the sleeve and top-loaded pile, so that's pretty cool. Well, someone just needs to be bold, Eric and Tyler, and then, then we'll get that done. Their money isn't scared. They'll someone's just got to buy a couple spots in, the, in that filler, and it'll then it'll fill. That, that's what we got to do. If you already bought a spot, you know, then you maybe got to consider a second spot just to make that happen. I don't see Tyler Brenner's name in that filler. Helping it out. I don't see Eric's name in that filler either. Could go a long way helping us out. Otherwise, we just got to be patient and hopefully make, make it happen. There's Darvish to 116. We've got Nate Pearson who's supposed to be pretty good for the Blue Jays. There's Kiebert Ruiz, Miguel Cabrera. Angela Mayhew with a dinger today. Luis Garcia, rated rookie. Has a different kind of paper sort of background there. Dylan Carlson's supposed to could have a breakout year. Starling Marte to 2021. Elite Series, Freddie Freeman to 9.99. Bam, bam. Uh, 
<laughs> bam, bam. There's uh, Nick Madrigal. There's Alec Baum. Almost won the... Uh, there's Alec Baum to 2021. Did I fly by a Sixto Sanchez? He's supposed to be pretty good, too. No, and maybe you're thinking Sandy Alcantara? Ken Griffey Jr., Tristan McKenzie. Javier Baez in 2021. Unleashed Fernando Tatis to 349. There's Davy Garcia, blue. Got Juan Soto to 2021. Still Pirates edition of Josh Bell here. And Tanner Hawk is your autograph. And that's for Boston. Nick Stover with the Red Sox. Another Alec Baum and a Luis Capusano. Friars autograph. Going to Nick Stover. Correct. Yeah, I think there's only two autographs a box in this, Josh. Or it's a three, it could be three, three autos or memorabilia. So I guess it could be one and two relics, but generally we've been seeing um, two autos and one relic per box is what we've noticed. But I suppose it could be all over the place on average. Max Scherzer, 2021. Joe Adele. Trevor Story to 249. And then we've got Rafael Devers right here. Joe Adele. Could he have a breakout season? Angels wanted to have a breakout season. Joe Adele. But struggling a little bit in the spring. Now, Oliver Sori was saying, I don't think, he doesn't think there's any big, big news out of the MLB camps regarding the top rookies. As long as they don't get injured. We just want them to, to make the big club at some point this year and then uh, and then do well in the regular season, stay healthy, stay consistent. That'll be hashtag good for the hobby. Jeff Samarja is also a free agent. Anibal Sanchez is a free agent. This is, this is the MLB free agent, unsigned free agent list. Matt Wieters still around. 34 years old. Now, remember when Matt Wieters was supposed to be like the next, like, Mike Piazza? Yeah, I thought he was going to get there for just a second. A lot of those hitters could probably make their way into a DH spot somewhere. Coming off the bench DH position. Yeah, I like those unleashed parallels. I think they're pretty cool. I like the big ferocious grizzly bears in the background. Terrifying. Otani is tested and excited about his progress on the hill. Yeah, they're going to keep going with Otani as a uh, pitcher hitter, huh? That would be hashtag good for the hobby too. If Otani can get back to his rookie of the year antics, I think that'd be awesome. Yeah, Jock has five home runs already. Good for him. Hopefully he'll get some of that everyday playing time. If he could hit lefties. If he could figure out how to hit lefties just even decently, he should get that everyday playing time. Is 
Yeah, Bobby Dalbeck, four home runs. It's a good spring for him, too. That's hashtag good for the hobby for Nick Stober and the Red Sox. All the Dalbecks that pop out of here. I think he's a rated rookie on this checklist. Pretty sure. Next box. There's another unleashed Pete Alonzo to 349. We got Kest Daddy right here. Keston. There it is. Chef G. Gary Cole to 2021. No one really calls him Chef G, do they? There's Joe Adele. Rated rookie card for Nick and the Angels. Pico de Gallo. And a signature series, Raphael Marchand for Philadelphia. That's going to go to Nick Stober again. He's heating up. He's on fire. From downtown. There's Dalbeck right here. Bo Jackson. There's Chef G again. There you go. You want him to start. You want him to play well this season. You want those cards to start skyrocketing. There's Sixto Sanchez. He's pretty good. There's Andrew Bogarts to 2021. I think that NL East is going to be really uh, is going to be really exciting. You know, especially if Miami's a little ahead of schedule. Nice Joe Adele to 2021. One for Nick. Miami is Barry Roberts. Patrick Corbin to 2021. Josh, were you just in the shop? CJ Abrams, 9.99. Oh, you should have you should have poked your head in. Said what up? Jay Cronenworth, pretty good. That Padres infield is really strong. And here's our relic, Javier Baez, piece of the Cubs pinstripe. All right, and that'll be for Jarrell and the Cubbies. A little bit of last spot mojo here. There's Doogie, Alex Verdugo to 2021, former Dodger. There's Lourdes Gurriel to 9.99. There's the Trent Grisham. Vlad Guerrero Jr. to 2021. Slamming Sammy Sosa, 2021. Hyunjin Ryu, to 2021. Tatis Jr., Slam Diego. Joey Bart, I think that's our first Joey Bart rated rookie. For Alec and the Giants. Maybe our second one. A little bit of dust out of there. MLB Twitter poll question. What's most likely to happen in 2021? Posey or Cueto win Comeback Player of the Year. Top three MVP finish for Mike Yastrzemski. Solano wins the 
NBA batting, MLB batting title. There's Brady Singer. The poll winner was uh, Buster Posey, comeback player. I know, I, I, I saw you say that, Josh. Nice, good for you. Brady Singer. Did you pull it from one of our boxes? Barry and the, and the Royals. It's Nick Madrigal. That's for Chicago. Chicago, a lot of great youngsters for Chicago. Alec with the White Sox. <laughs> Oliver selects D. Who cares? To 75, Jacob deGrom. Yeah, it's going to be a rough year for the Giants. It's just going to be Padres or Dodgers for the NL West. It's going to be it. Ooh, look at this. 70 out of 149 is a different unleashed parallel. It's red with, with, with those ferocious animals in the background. Mike Trout mixed over. It's Andres Jimenez. Ooh, thank you. Dylan Carlson, Clayton Kershaw, Anthony Rendon. Two more boxes to go. All right. Let's go. Right. Oh, Nick Markakis retires. Teddy must be heartbroken. Teddy, are you okay? devastated. I don't know. What other, who are other prominent Greeks in the MLB? Man. I thought, I thought Mark Hakes was going to grind it out for a little bit because Mark Hakes is sitting at 2,388 hits. I don't know. He'd have to grind out another, like, I don't know. I thought he was going to go for, I thought he was going to go for 3,000 hits. I really did. Maybe he's just, maybe, he's 36. The last full season he had, 2019, he had 118 hits. The year before that, he had 185 hits. So, it wasn't, I feel like he could do it. He grinded out five more seasons. Think he could do it? I know we got we got to we got to we got to keep an eye on Teddy tonight, Oliver. Might be devastated. Yeah, veteran outfielder Nick Mark, this is according to MLBTradeRumors.com, veteran outfielder Nick Markakis is calling it a career after 15 seasons at the major league level. He's telling The Athletic, 37-year-old, said he made up his mind shortly after the pre postseason ended and did not pursue any opportunities this winter. My number one decision made focus is obviously my kids, my family. Markakis said, adding that he's both fortunate and thankful to have been played the game for so long. TJ, what's going on? How are you? Nick Markakis retired. The seventh overall pick back in 2003, Mark Hake has spent fewer than three years in the minors before debuting as a 22-year-old and never looking back. 
Yeah, he slashed 291, 351, and 448 in 147 games. Finished sixth in 2006 American League Rookie of the Year voting with the Orioles at the time. That's right, he started with the O's. Sorry. These packs are terrible. All right. Eric, that means uh, random number block. Thanks, Oliver. Yeah. You can read the uh, directions on how that works in the uh, description. Basically, it's a serial number break, and you get a, you get a number assigned to you. And we got Nick Nider for Miami. That'll be for Barry and the Fish. Joey Bart. So I guess Joey Bart will be catching and then they'll probably move Buster Posey, they'll have Buster Posey at first, I think. They have been having, I think he's been at first for a little bit. Lance Berkman to 2021. It's Trey Turner to 349. Manny Machado to 149. Nick Madrigal for the White Sox, that goes to Alec. And from one Alec to another, here's Alec Baum. Matt Chapman to 2021. Leody Tavares to 2021. Dylan Carlson, Bam Bam to 113. Brandon Lau, yeah. Starling Marte, Whit Merrifield, other Nick Madrigal, Oral Hershiser. He does a uh, color commentary for the for the uh, Dodgers TV network. You're hearing weird cicada type. Oh, you might be the. The AC that you're hearing, the fan, whirring, whirring, whirling, whirring. Nick Madrigal autograph this time. There you go. Alec Harrison with the walk, uh, with the Chicago White Sox. Part of that young group of players. Nick Madrigal, Andrew Vaughn, Luis Robert, Eloy Jimenez, so on and so forth. Go. There's Roger Clemens, Kettle Marte, it's Bobby Dalbeck right here too. I've gotten so used to it, and I don't even hear it, Ben. Zach Wheeler to 75, fire emoji, there's our Zarania. Giolito to 999, Sammy Sosa. Another Sixto Sanchez. DJ LeMayhew. Carlos Carrasco. Tyler Stevenson. Speaking of Miami and Sixto Sanchez, ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, whatever island that that Ernest Hemingway used to live on. Key West, maybe. There's Nelson Cruz, piece of his jersey. Uh, it's it, There's a lot of cats there, and a lot of them have an extra toe. Six toes. There's a marketing opportunity wrapped in there somewhere. I just can't quite get my finger on it. Tatis Jr. to three... What is that? 399? 366 for some reason? Oh, that's... Commemorating his 366 on base percentage, that's why. There's Alec Baum Blue. 
There's a mountain castle right here, stars. <laughs> yeah, Brandon, everyone seems to be scratching their heads about breaks that aren't filling. People are like, what's going on with Revolution? What's going on with Panini 1? Everyone seems to be, but we've been doing breaks steadily, so everyone seems to be doing everything else other than the ones that some people want to do. Uh, I can't explain it. There's Cody Ballinger, unleashed to 9.99. I like these. I don't understand it either. There are some days where I come in, Brandon, and I'm just like, oh yeah, we're definitely doing breaks X, Y, and Z today. You know, and then people go the completely opposite direction of what I th think was going to go. Yeah, let's get that let's get that number block filled. I'm still looking at it and it's still still at 8. The only two people that have purchased spots is Chris and Jeremy 33. They're the only two bold people to buy into that multi-team number block which will sell out Picker Team 1. And I, I've got a feeling that once that Picker Team 1 is sold out, that Picker Team 2 won't be too far behind that. You know, if you haven't purchased a number block spot yet and you want to see that Panini 1 go, maybe give it a shot. If, you, if you're like, but I already got a spot in the break, Joe. I already, got, I already got his team straight up. Maybe in order for that break to happen to see your team straight up, you may have to take a chance at a... Um, at a number block spot. Only Chris and Jeremy are in that final number block for Pick Your Team 1. There you go, Brandon. See, that's, that's the way to negotiate. He's asking, he's asking uh, Joe, like, hey, maybe, maybe if you buy a revolution spot, maybe I'll buy a number block spot. Yeah, sometimes people are just like, hey, let's let's fill this. It's not as effective as maybe trying to do a little negotiating with your fellow collectors in the chat. You help me, I help you. So here's the link to the number block in the chat. And here's the link to Revolution in the chat as well. Last box coming up, gang. So yeah, we were just talking about Nick Markakis retiring. I thought he was going to go for, I was going to go for three thousand hits, but it's all good. Now I'm looking at. I'm looking at a uh, AL Rookie of the Year odds. The favorite at plus 400 is Randy Arozarena, followed by Jared Kalanick, Ryan Mountcastle, Wander Franco, Tristan McKenzie, Nate Pearson, Nick Madrigal, Adley Rushman, Casey Mize, Garrett Crochet, Brendan McKay, Louis Patino, Bobby Dalbeck at 20 to one. All right, Royce Lewis. No, not Royce Lewis isn't going to be playing. Bobby Bradley, blah, 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 blah. The longest odd is Andrew Vaughn at 40 to 1. I wonder, any any thoughts on AL Rookie of the Year? NL Rookie of the Year, the favorite is Cabrian Hayes at 4 to 1. And Sixto Sanchez, 5 to 1. Ian Anderson, 9 to 1. Followed by Dylan Carlson, Christian Pache, both 10 to 1. From 12 to 1 to 20 to 1, Nick Lodolo, Joey Bard, O'Neill Cruz, Tyler Stevenson, Spencer Howard, Mackenzie Gore, Miguel Amaya. And then followed by a bunch of other players on the list. Let's see, Jazz Chisholm, 25 to 1. 
William Contreras, 28 to 1. Josiah Gray, 33 to 1. J.D. Bleday, 33 to 1. Kiba Ruiz, 40 to 1. Drew Waters, 40 to 1. There he is. Speaking of Sixto Sanchez, a favorite, one of the favorites for Rookie of the Year. Sam Huff. Yeah, hey, I hear you, Brandon. I appreciate that, Brandon. Well, someone's got to take the first step to to start the momentum on that on that number block if we really want it to happen. So it's, it's like baseball, right? We need someone to start. We're going to need a middle reliever, right? And then we need a closer. So what, eight spots left? You know, we need a few people to, to start things off. Once the first few people buy, buy three spots... Once they buy those th few spots, then you're then we need the middle relievers to buy a few spots, and then a closer to the buy to buy the last two spots, and then before you know it, we're in breaksville. But someone's got to step up to the plate and make it happen. And there's Dylan Carlson, nice signature series for the Redbirds, mixed over with the Cardinals. Nice break for you, Nick. Vlad Guerrero Jr., 2021. Blue Jays have a nice young team. I want to see all of them do well. All of it would be hashtag good for the hobby. 2021. Who's my your favorite second year player in the AL this year? Give me some. Uh, give me some. <laughs> give me some examples. I'm trying to think of who these second year guys are going to be. I mean, obviously you want. Obviously, like Luis Robert, it's going to be his second year. You want him to do well. That'll be hashtag good for the hobby. I like that guy. I'm trying to think of players who have maybe, maybe weren't very good last year, but could really turn things around. Got to look at a list. There's Joe Adele Blue for the Angels, Nick Stover. There's Yachty to 149, Elite Series. Alec Baum rated rookie. Let's see if a Mike Trout here, too. There's Shirt and Apostle. Nice. Well, I think, I'm pretty sure it's a pretty big prospect for the Rangers. Maybe future Adrian Beltre is what they're hoping. That goes to Alec Harrison. Yeah, I would. Lux didn't didn't really do much last year, Johnny. I would love to see him do well uh, this year. I think he just missed. I think he just went over his rookie eligibility last year, so I don't think he'll be. He's not eligible for rookie of the year, unfortunately. But Steve Garvey, Sixto Sanchez again, you Darvish, Will Myers, I'd like to see Kyle Lewis for the Mariners, would love him, love for him to have a good, good second year following that rookie of the year campaign. And a piece of Will Myers jersey. Going to the Padres, Nick Stover. Miguel Rojas. Nice blue Bobby Dalbeck for the Red Sox for Nick. Ooh, Logan Allen, yeah. 
Uh, look, you'd see Logan Allen do put in some work this year. There's a lot of interesting, a good crop of young players that are starting to come up. You know, that we've been seeing in these Bowman draft products maybe like three or four years ago. Right? Are starting to starting to bear some fruit now. And there's a nice, the rookies, Joe Adele, to 249. All right, and Jacob deGrom closing things out. A lot of great parallels. Uh, that, that A huge stack of parallels here that we're going to ship. So thanks, everybody, for getting in on that action. Here's a quick look at the relics and the autographs that we pulled out of there. These were pretty solid, too. I appreciate everybody getting in. We've got the final four box of the case in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. I'm Joe, and I'll break that with you next time. Bye-bye.